my biggest triumph. Anyone that follows me, automatically blocked by Jamie Kilstein. Really? Yeah. Just anyone? Anyone. He has it set up? Yeah, he has it set up that That's way. That's awesome. How'd you, get, how'd you swing that? I don't know. I guess they have like programs that, that you can use. But so. what did you do to get Kilstein to block you? Oh, he was, uh, he was having like a conversation with somebody. I think it was Lindy West. But I oh, found a nice. conversation nice. he was having where... Uh, That's a nice back and forth. <clears throat> nice. Where he was like... Um, like nine, ten replies deep in a conversation with her, so that it was like kind of convoluted, but it was a friendly conversation. And I just quoted one of his tweets, or I like replied to one of his, like I dot added one of the tweets in this long thread. Yeah, and I was like, "Wow, wouldn't expect rape jokes from Jamie Kilstein." <laughs> so, like, to even check that I was lying, you would have to read through this conversation. <laughs> and like, Jamie saw that and thought maybe I was somebody that like you know took it out of context or like just didn't understand. I mean, there was no rape joke. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. Looked like a rape joke. But he was like, what? what are you talking about? There's no rape joke. What are you? you know, <laughs> no, that's, please. That's his biggest fear. Right. Yes. He's more afraid of doing a rape joke than being raped. Of being, yeah, of being problematic. <laughs> Jamie <laughs> Kilstein, <laughs> <laughs> real hip hop. Blaka, blaka, blaka. Real hip hop. <laughs> Yo, this is a message for the Bumba Clots out at the NRA. If you're an NRA Bumba Clot. <laughs> I got I got a kale sandwich for you, pal. A knuckle kale sandwich. My a gluten free knuckle sandwich. You know what was so funny was uh, he said Vegas was was too. Jamie Kilstein one time. Fucking uh, he was talking about like what's good comedy and what's bad comedy, and he like as an example of shitty comedy, he's like, yeah, it's like going to see the amazing fucking Jonathan or whatever, and literally like seven hours later, like. The amazing Jonathan announced that he had terminal cancer and he was dying. <laughs> there was this like outpouring from all these oh, comedians no. that were like, "He's so great, oh, he's so talented," and fucking kill steam with this incredible. shitty timing. That's so good. Yeah. Uh, well, that's so strange. That he couldn't happen to a nicer timing. guy. You know. You know what's funny is I tell that story and then we find out tomorrow Jamie Killstein has cancer. <laughs> and just an outpouring of love. Yeah. Jamie was the best rapist comedian. <laughs> He's the wokest rapist. Bill Cosby. Oh, you know what I love is that he didn't do anything. Yeah, wrong. he probably just he like did, mildly he, hit on. No, someone. I read the story. It was like you know, it's like yeah. Whenever I was in New York, Jamie would be like, "You should come over to my apartment." It's like okay, what? Did he rape you? It's like <laughs> no, he asked me to come to his apartment. In like a sexual way. Oh, so it's like a Casey Affleck thing. It's, it's like people just not even it. a Casey Affleck thing. He Casey Affleck went to the girl's room or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. So he was like a little bit more aggressive, but well, pro. But Kilstein that, I mean, comedian. but obviously, Kilstein. It's like that's what you. That's your fault, also. Yeah, that was my take for a yeah. while, but I mean, now that now that it's you know the I've stopped laughing. <laughs> Back to time, yeah. time to support the men. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, no, no, this is my but seriously, folks, we've had a lot of fun <laughs> laughing at Jamie Kilstein, who most certainly deserved. Yeah, he's just gone now. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like that was disappeared. It. It's incredible. Well, actually. what was he doing before? He was on radio or something. Yeah, he well, he was Mark Marin for a couple of years. He played Marin. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mark Marin retired, and Jamie took over. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so, um, in case you guys haven't been paying attention or reading the my newsletter that I send out, I will be uh, leaving the show permanently. <laughs> Uh, to be replaced by Jamie Kilstein. Yeah. <laughs> who's offered me a buyout, actually. He's me, really? He's paying me $50,000. I don't really think you should agree to this, Nick. I, yeah, man. I don't know if this is a good Can idea. Can we veto? No. Please? You're going to make us hang out with that guy? I'm not going to make you do shit. You're free to sell your positions to whoever you want. All right, I'm going to sell it to Lindy West. God right. damn it, I was going to say that. <laughs> Who do Lindy's, you not, Lindy's not bad now. It's going to be funny, because I called the Kilstein thing, right? I, I think, months ago. Uh-huh. He switched Lindy's up. The McLaughlin group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Koch brothers' dad. Issue one. Um, Tonight on the group, Jamie Kilstein's uh, rebranding as an alt-right guy, good or bad. <laughs> Tony Blankley, what do you have to say? I think it's good. Yeah, that's what he sounds like. <laughs>
<laughs> I think it's good and my dick's small. It's me, Tony Blakely, <laughs> all the way from Britain. <laughs> Tiny Britain. <laughs> Tiny Blankly. <laughs> Tiny Blankly. Take that, bitch. <laughs> Some fucking old news guy who I don't know at all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I guess since we redid, we're done. We're done on time, but uh, right. okay. uh, we should recap a couple of things that got uh, lost in the episode that was deleted. Uh, Jamie Kilstein is back. He is now an alt right guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I was in. I was wrong. He he really didn't do anything. I thought I, when I watched the Rogan thing, I thought he said he beat a woman, but that was just a joke that didn't mm. land or whatever. What did he say? Uh, he was telling some other anecdote about an African guy that. Oh, first of all, he was making fun of African guy voice, which. Whoa! Stay in your lane, motherfucker. Whoa! Oh, no. No. Let's get far. the fucking bats out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pull up on Kilstein. No. He definitely doesn't pay for the Patreon. You know, he's yeah. definitely how legally tall? We could beat up Jamie Kilstein, right? Of course, of course. What is he's he got? Like, like spaghetti tattoo he's little, right? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a little out weigh like 115 pounds. Let's go fuck him up, dude. Yeah, for taking African guy voice. Um. Yeah. So uh, I guess there was that. We talked about that. The I think I got angry, and then we ended up not really saying anything about the issue at all. Fucking mm. love Dave and Jay. Like yeah. you three were always. I want. I want to get into that in yeah, a second because yeah, yeah. I want. I want to really quick. Let, oh, let's also, just not I started listening to Come Town for so you can pass that on to Nick Mullen, who is blocked on my Twitter. Uh, yeah, no, Nick is brilliant. It's um, really good. I really, uh, I really dropped the ball. Now, like I've been going back and like listening to the stuff because if someone fucking hates you you're not like yeah. oh I want to go listen to them have talent on a podcast and uh, this dude I do jiu jitsu with I was like uh, when I told him I was going on your show and I was like yeah and that fucking like Nick Mullen guy like all that guy did was harass me and this guy my buddy Chris was like Nick, he's like the sweetest guy. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? He made me want to kill myself and you just forget like Twitter's just it's just a garbage. Uh, no, I don't think Kilstein can outroast me. I don't think anything about Jamie Kilstein. I think he's a... He's not even a comic. Yeah, he's, he's not barely a comic. A comic. I, didn't didn't do sh- I didn't do shit to They're Kilstein. Both I don't fucking know Kilstein. I, like, fucked with him or, like, you know, made a joke at on his Twitter. expense once or twice on Twitter. And then, I mean, like, I didn't have a problem... Fuck that guy, man. I didn't have Keep a fucking fuck. problem with him at all, really. I mean, people can have whatever politics they want. I don't think he's particularly funny, and I don't give a shit. But then when he got accused of, like, rape and immediately... He puts on a leather jacket. Right. <laughs> now exactly. he's a bad guy. <laughs> Does this fucking heel turn. That's cool. I think that's cool. No, I mean... That's my plan. It, it speaks to how little he thinks of all the people he's trying to, like, chum up with now that, he, that they're, they would be stupid enough. Why do they buy... Why does Lewis fall I don't for know, him? man. I, I really don't fucking know. Why is Joe Rogan, Rogan fall for him? I don't know. 30 minutes, 30 Yeah, I guess I should talk penis. about... Oh, well, what am I just discuss it? So I had that Kilstein roast. Oh, yeah. I heard you fucking crush his little bitch Yeah, ass. yeah. But I, I don't know. I mean, like, that shit makes me think about... You know, because I don't... It's like, I've taken this hard stance with, like, why are people giving this guy a platform? I didn't want to do the roast because I don't want to be part of his, like, rehabilitation yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I see the guy, and like I've never met him once in my really? life. Really, never met. You're him. just mean to him online. I just mean to him online because mm. I thought he was full of shit. Sure, which he was. And which he was. I mean, that's he like, is. Yeah, he is. He's still full of shit, and I yeah. see him, and he's like, "Buddy," and he's trying to give me a hug and shit. You've and never like, met this guy once. Never met him. That's wild. And he's acting like you know we're pals or whatever, which is like, go ahead and dislike me. You yeah. should fucking dislike me. Yeah. I've like publicly criticized you. At a time when it was like there was no reason to do that. Yeah, I was yeah, just yeah, being yeah, spiteful yeah. and shitty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I had, you know, I mean, I was like maybe 40% sure that you were just doing all that as like a put on to mm-hmm. find some kind of place for yourself and like, you know, your career or whatever. But, you know, I don't, I didn't know. Yeah. You should, you should hate me and you should fucking be mean to me when you see me. Right, right, right. And then, you know, we do the roast or whatever, and afterward, I mean, I felt bad for the guy, so I'm like, you know, good job or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, uh, you're still like, hey, yeah, great, you know, he sent me a message, he's like, if you ever need anything, you need know, what? Me, and I don't know. What well, I he's could... got a lot of power in the entertainment <laughs> industry. <laughs> you need taekwondo lessons. He's a real mover and shaker. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that's been I mean, fucking with my head. I mean, he's just scared of you. I don't dude. even know what, what I want to say what about What part it? of it's fucking with your head? I just, I just don't. I, like uh, the lack of like consistency that someone could have, you could just yeah. I, I, it just I don't or like the spectacle of a roast. 
Well, no, that's... Like being like... I can't put my finger on it, but something's been fucking with me, like, since that. That's kind of what you're talking about, though, about, like, what the human You know what mind- it is? Honestly, because it's like, here's this person, and people are going to hate this. They don't want to listen to it. Yeah. But the honest answer is, like, here's this person that's being nice to me, and I still have this instinct to, like, no, fuck this guy. I'm going to be mean to him. Yeah, yeah, because he's being disingenuous, though. But so what? He's I mean, being I still nice have, to you because I still he's have, afraid of I you. I still have, like, an empathetic response. Well, I mean, I don't... I don't feel like I'd ever be in his position... Because I wouldn't, you yeah. know. Yeah, but you're I wouldn't to be somebody for years, I and then the second it got, you, there was some. It crumbled. Very like few, yeah, very yeah, few yeah. people would do that. Yeah. But the position he's in is like unenviable. Nobody wants to be, right. you know, a pariah on both sides. But it's who a ta- gives right. a fuck? It's his own goddamn fault. I mean, tell him, get him. He's just afraid of you, Nick. Oh, you're okay, that's fine. That's, that's even- fine. That might motivate whatever he's doing, but it's still like, I don't. No, I don't understand my own impulse to like shun and punish this mm, person because you are someone that ab- abides by certain like like principles. No, that's bullshit. I yes, mean, not any more, not no, any more than are. not any more than anybody no, else. No, that's not true. No, you, you have, definitely you have, like have a, a higher you think No, I do. no, I don't. You don't you don't you truly I really I do. you don't. I don't. I Most really don't. people well, that's not more. that's not about me. I, it's just I don't like uh, you know, I don't know. It's been fucking with me. I don't understand my own impulse to like Shut this guy out, or like try to. He's impede. not your fucking friend, and he's, he's not fucking, my friend. Yeah. But I mean, it shouldn't concern me. I don't know why right, it does. Right, right, and I right, guess right. you know. So you're saying you should have pitied him. Well, no, to have to. You well, I do. Pitied, I mean, I do. Pitied the fool. I do, mm-hmm. but yeah. yeah, I don't know. Just having to, like, because you know, it's like in my head. I know. Yeah, I wouldn't give this guy a platform. I don't. You know, whatever. But then when it's somebody actually like you're talking to them face to face and. You know, they're continually trying to hug you and be your friend. It's yeah. like well, that's fucking hard weird. to, you know. But, but that, I think that if you're expressing this, I think that that that, that signifies like an, an adequate empathetic response to like... Well, a, I'm not a, trying to gauge genuine, my own... I'm just saying to a genuinely awkward social interaction between like someone that is like trying to suck your dick because he's afraid of you. No, nah, you know what it is? It's because I, I have like a big problem with... This, I guess, there's like a uh, like a cultural imperative right now to shame and punish people, mm-hmm. right? And like, I would like to think that I'm not participating or contributing to that in any way. Yeah. Even though I'm like going through the small dick problems, Reddit. I was about to say <laughs> reading them. Out I was loud. literally about to say. And it's like, oh, I do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. the things that, because like that was like a that was a problem I had wow. with like I, you know because I'm like a I guess a free speech guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then, yeah, Look the storm fucking, fucking storm, is dude. awesome. Nick's dude. on a yeah. roll, and we got a fucking. Storm I want to go to the fucking on. jungle, you know, <laughs> be rained on and raped by tarantulas. <laughs> you want to get raped? Just big yeah, ass one spiders, of those big <laughs> ass arms in your ass. Eight no, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like kind of like a free speech guy. In like 2014, where people started like drawing lines in the sand or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of like formerly libertarian guys that eventually just became alt right. And then you know we right. do Gavin's show, and he's talking about how he gives a shit about free expression. And then he's like, trans people shouldn't be allowed to talk to children. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Mm-hmm. And he's like, why? What, 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 what am I supposed? How am I supposed to explain this to my children? You know, it's right, like they right, don't right. really give a shit right. about freedom no, or not whatever. At all. Yeah. And it's like the same thing now where I don't like I don't like and I take it way too far mm-hmm. with my like, you know, where I say, Oh, we shouldn't shame this person or address this thing or we should ignore it, but then I ignore that entirely when it's something convenient to me or I don't know, that bothers me. It fucks with my own sense of like integrity. And it's like, well, maybe I have as little integrity as Jamie. It's just put in a position where it's not challenged. Cause what you can do is carve out a way for yourself to just have a slight enough, you know, divergence from whatever popular opinion is to seem like you're thinking on your own. Right. But you're not, really. Mm-hmm. You're right. just, like, slightly pig-headed on a couple of issues. Right, right, right. right. And so I guess that's... Yeah, I don't know. It's been fucking with me a lot. Well, I guess the point of a roast is to shame, right? It is to It's not the roast. No, no, the, he, roast, he the point of the roast is to be yeah. funny. I mean, yeah, I enjoy right. doing the roast. By being mean, by shaming someone. I mean, by writing jokes and doing yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I guess so. I, I mean, I, I enjoy, you know, I mean, Jamie had a, uh, Jamie's joke about a cum town is named after my mustache is a funny joke. That's yeah, a good that's joke. Good yeah. I enjoy being part of a comedy show. Mm-hmm. Sure. Right. So it's not the roast itself. It's like, 
no, it's my own impulses, and because I didn't ask, I don't want to be not be nice or to be nice. No, I'll tell you what it is. It's like my impulse was to say, I don't want to fucking do this roast. I don't want anything to do with this guy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know, uh, doing the roast itself is nice. It's nicer for me to do the fucking roast than to not do the roast and say, shut this guy out. Right, 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 right. You know, I mean, if he wants to rehabilitate his image, I mean, he did get railroaded over a fucking bullshit thing, but it's also like. He's not actually friends with us, just like he wasn't actually yeah, friends yeah, yeah. with all the people he threw right. under the bus when right. he took a hard 180 after he was accused of shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, whatever. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't. See I don't know. It's not issue. funny, but whatever. Fuck it. I have yeah. a podcast, so I can talk about <laughs> yeah. things if I want to. But I don't see that as an issue. I don't see your response as a fucking particularly as an issue or showing that you don't fucking like. I don't see that as a problem to have that. You ultimately, you did the fucking roast. You didn't shut him out. But even if you wanted to shut him out, then who gives a fuck? He's yeah, not also, your friend. if you, you have said no you didn't want to do it because you don't want to like be part of whatever he's doing, that would have been fine, too. Yeah. You know, uh, that no, I felt, I felt no, like I had to because I, then I don't want people saying, like, oh, Mullen's afraid to do it. No, but That was on. the only reason right, I did Right, but that's it. people pr- pressuring you. That's not... That's, that's yeah, not you would have been reality. fine doing it. Yeah. What well, about I mean, it's I like uh, because I'm not, and I'm you know I just yeah. don't like doing roasts because I think they're a stupid gimmick. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. rather just be bad at stand up comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd rather just continue to do mediocre feature level stand up comedy <laughs> and have <laughs> sold out headlining shows where people come to see me and then just sort of do my job. <laughs> <laughs> what about this Jamie Philstein? Mm-hmm. We fill his ass with cum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Or gay me, Dickstein, and gay, of course, G A Y me. You got him. <laughs> and he can't object to that because he's not an SJW anymore. That's right. So this episode takeaways: Peacock's bad. Jamie Kilstein? Question mark. 